Kello from NFT NYC. We're supercharging NFTs left and right. So here's the thing. In order to make massive profit from your cryptocurrency investment, one thing you have to do, one of the thing you have to do is focus on the long-term goal. You understand? Temperate dip shouldn't be something of concern. You shouldn't be kind of worried. Oh my God, the crypto is dipping. Oh my God, what should I do now? Oh, should I sell? No. Like most times, the whale even manipulates the market in order for you to sell and then they can buy low. Which is something we should grow up and learn from now, man. Like seriously. So here's the thing. A real crypto investor, like a real investor, don't worry much, doesn't have to worry much about Tempra Deep. As you can see on the two hour time frame, we're currently witnessing a sell, like um, the sellers are winning the war. On the four hour time frame, also the sellers are winning the war. But on the daily time frame, which is more the higher time frame, because in order for you to check a real and to know the real price direction for a particular um, project, crypto project, you have to check the higher time frame. So the higher time frame is showing neutral, likewise to the weekly time frame, and likewise to the monthly time frame. So I see no reason why you should kind of be panic. Oh my God, um, it's um, it's um, dropping now, oh, it's dipping, blah blah blah. No, it's just witnessing a little bit of correction. Like it has really performed well in the last um, days. So a little bit of correction, healthy correction is actually necessary. So as you can see, we're actually down um, 5% in the last 24 hours. And um, the current price is sit sitting at um, uh, $1.68. Okay. And um, we're down, um, I think, 2 in our ranking as at um, 50 hours ago when I made the other video about um, Origin Trail. I think we're ranked um, number 133, right? Uh, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, so you can go watch the video out. The video is on my channel. I made a detailed video explanation about Origin Trail in that video, and um, we also gave our price prediction for the immediate short term, which is fourteen dollars and twenty dollars, which is very, very, very realistic. You can go watch the video out and um, follow what we did. We did a very good analysis there. We didn't just, just exaggerate things, you understand? We called the spade a spade in that video. So feel free to go watch the video. Um, the video is on my channel. Um, feel free to subscribe to my channel before leaving and also turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time we drop new video like this. And um, your subscription really means a lot to us. And um, drop your comments in the comment section below. Your Give this video a like, please. It really means a lot also. Okay, so real quick, looking at the chat right now on CoinMarketCap is not looking um actually good for now but um it needs correction in order for the next leg up in order to continue the next journey so i don't see reason to panic here and um actually we're on the daily time frame looking at the all you will notice we've really performed well and um track is really um a kind of looking for correction right now so looking at um um uh, the market rank market cap um we're down five points um five percent in our market cap so um that's no big deal it's just a healthy correction okay so let's just head straight to um our chat and run some technical analysis there and um know where the next um target for trail is headed so real quick as you can see we're forming a very very bull flag right now which is something you should be happy of you understand we're forming a bull flag which is a welcome development and um we're also forming a bull flag inside a bull flag so if we are able to break above this bull flag if we're able to break above this bull flag or this one we should be um, experiencing a price movement up like whatever happens, like whatever happens, we might likely retest this area, which is the one dollar thirty-two cent, and then kick from there upward. I, I'm not saying it's a must, you understand, but if the sellers continue winning the war, we might find find support, a major support area around this one dollar thirty-two cent. So after we, we are able to hold. Um, the support area very well we should 
kick and um, go above this um, $1.07. After going above this $1 and closing few candles above this $1.07, then I should see track heading to the next resistance zone of um, $2.19. So correction is needed for um, a healthy chart, you understand? So you don't expect the chart to just be going up, going up, no. Now it's forming a bull flag after a massive impulsive wave. You see? After a massive impulsive impulsive wave is forming a bull flag right now, which is a welcome development. So after this bull flag, we should see something upward again, and then it will form a bull flag after going to some point, breaking another high. After it will form a bull flag, then continuously, you understand? That's how a healthy, a healthy chart looks like. Like you don't just expect a chart to just be going up like this like this like this no 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 a healthy chart in order to continue the upward movement will have to go up come down go up come down go up come down go up. you understand so that's how it is and i'm looking at the chart right now um we're having a, a very very serious support area at the one dollar three cent which is unlikely to happen you understand um i don't see um track heading that down that much you understand but um one dollar 32 cent is more likely to happen if we are not able to hold this support area if we're not able to close few early candle above this support area of one dollar 73 cent so that's it and um, if we're able to close few candles above this one dollar 73 cent then track should be heading to two dollars 19 cent and um, if we're able to close few candles above this um, resistance area of two dollar which also acted as support in previous um candles um above this two dollar 19 cent then um track should be heading to um two dollar 89 cent which is one of um the major resistance zone now and um, it also acted as support in few candles above as you can see so if we're able to close few early candles above this area man the next thing is going to be a moonshot believe me you and um like i said earlier in the other like i said in the other video binance listing is going to skyrocket everything believe me binance listing is going to just make the project the value explode okay so um, tr um track nft supercharge is currently ongoing it started few hours yesterday so and um yeah as at the time of making this video the supercharge is still currently ongoing in case you're in new york city feel free to visit um edison hotel um the supercharge program is currently ongoing there so um some people might be asking what the heck is supercharge okay it's more like um a decentralized google for the metaverse you understand a gaming okay and um the supercharge it uh, protect and connect and level up the value of nfts so that's what um the supercharge basically does and um yeah i, I will just drop a video about um this what's going on on the supercharge video um they took and uploaded on the uh, what's it called twitter page so i will just show you guys the video and um my name is isaac once again before you watch the video please subscribe to my channel it really means a lot to me for those that subscribe i really appreciate your love and support and um drop your questions your comments in the comment section below if you find this video helpful drop good comment about it and um i will really appreciate and um give this video a thumbs up it really means a lot to me also and um so as always peace out so watch the video we're supercharging nfts left and right if you're lucky enough, you can get one of these sweet, sweet, sweet t-shirts. Just gotta choose the right number. And if you're super lucky, you might get this one. I don't know how my filming skills go, but there you go. If you're in New York, come say hi. This is Brian here. Ah, can you show me a sneak peek into how to supercharge your NFT? Sure. A decentralized knowledge brand? Sure, man. So I cannot show the whole thing, but I'll try to show uh, very briefly what you can do by supercharging an NFT. So, for example, by using the knowledge graph, you're able to discover NFTs that are supercharged. So you can search for them. For example, let's search for uh, Axie Infinity. Uh, and then you get search results like in Google. And you get all of these axes. And now we can choose, for example, the second one to supercharge. Ooh. And by supercharging, you can connect it to other NFTs. So, for example, I can connect it to CryptoPunks. 
if I search for them again, do the centralized search through the decentralized knowledge graph, I get all of these punks, for example, punk 10, punk 1000, 1003. So these are going to be connected with, with uh, axi 10 in a graph. I go further, I can add any search terms, for example, I can say uh, Tomaj, yes. Trace, and Axie Bro. And I can go further, so with these search terms, one can search for it in the graph, and as well, I can add any rich metadata. So let's say that this Axie has speed of 98, and I can add, uh, let's say, agility 87, and maybe a superpower. Um, superpower of uh, flying. Um, flying. Flying. And then I go and supercharge it. I actually sign this verifiable credential graph, publishing it to the new version of the decentralized knowledge graph. And uh, what we're able to, be, uh, to see now is supercharged, supercharged NFT, in which will leave for the public release of the website so you'll be able to see that very soon um yeah so stay tuned cheers everybody